guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Andy with 9 to 5 Dropouts. And I'm Josh. And we are here to start our journey with you guys and talk about our adventures. This is our most favorite thing that we're going to be doing with our channel. Talking about all the cool things each stop that we saw. That way if you guys ever decide to go, you can go to the things that we saw and see for yourself how awesome they are. So we started out um, a month and a half ago in Maryland. And we made our way over to Missouri for our first stop to see some family and then from there Kansas and finally Colorado Springs. Our first real stop for full-time living and we decided to stay for a whole month. We stayed at the Air Force Base. Um, it's called Peregrine Pines and it was really a nice uh, place to stay for a cheap rate if you're military DOD and definitely check that out on our other um, we did a video on that and did a review of that a drive-through review yeah, yeah so we check do, that out yeah. I'll leave the link below or just go to our YouTube channel page you'll be able to see it there yeah for sure so we w wanted to share with you guys kind of our top things that we took away from Colorado Springs and then at the end we wanted to share with you guys because part of the reason we're doing this whole thing is because we're going to share with you guys where we decide to make our forever home and um, we'll share with you guys why or why not we picked Colorado Springs. But first we want to talk about some things we really enjoyed. Uh, so if you're coming to visit definitely without a doubt go to Garden of the Gods. You guys might have heard of this before but it's absolutely stunning and the time of day that we went um, you want to go in the evening um, that's when you're gonna get the best the pictures absolute best pictures best colors yeah the Sun's starting to set and it looks like a great. red glow like it is beautiful yeah. so and it's only like I think for pretty much anywhere you're at in Colorado Springs it's no more than a 15 minute drive so I mean yeah. yeah and if you guys are, are like us and you enjoy the outdoors and you like animals it was um, one of my I guess you could say spiritual moments uh, we were mountain biking around the Garden of the Gods and uh, I saw my first two mule deers they were bucks and they were in velvet and their racks were huge and um, they went right across I mean we could have like just rode up to them and it was one of the most amazing experiences I wish I had on video and it made me cry. It was so awesome. Um, just to see the wildlife there and yeah. things that maybe you guys, a lot of you from the east or west coast, the animals that you haven't seen. Um, the little chipmunks are so cute here. Yeah, they're really funny too. Yeah, yeah. they're super fast. They're like turbo <laughs> yeah. speed and yeah. they're um, you can miss them in a heartbeat, but they're super cute. Uh, so definitely go to Garden of the Gods and check it out and it doesn't take a lot of time I mean, I think that you could you we mountain biked around the whole thing It took us like an hour and we kind of took our time and had yeah. a couple of detours because right. we love detours You always yeah. find something cool anyways right. um, I guess the next thing that we absolutely love but is also terrifying is the drive up to Pikes Peak so if you are not used to higher elevation and you are not acclimated definitely take definitely stay somewhere that yeah. around six or seven thousand feet before like a day or two before minimum you go up. two days I would yeah. say it took us I hydrate know, what a week, Gatorade a electrolytes week yeah, yeah. It, it took me two weeks to acclimate fully yeah. you guys some of you might have anxiety like me um, if you do definitely you want to acclimate uh, for a while and you want to maybe buy some oxygen bottles they have them even at like 7-eleven and stuff yeah at Manitou Springs at 7-eleven I'm sure they sell them other stores like little little oxygen bottles because it'll definitely definitely make you lightheaded as you're going up yeah so and don't like when you get to the top don't take off running because you're gonna find <laughs> yeah. your face smashed in the pavement probably because yeah, right. the air is so thin up there but guys I so halfway up um, I had the hor most horrible I thought I was gonna have a panic attack it is scary there's like you're looking over cliffs where sometimes there's not guardrails and um, I thought I was gonna have a panic attack and we stopped halfway and I got out and I was like you know what I'm doing this man I'm all in I gotta show Keegan that we pushed through our fears and we went all the way up on the way we saw this really cute goat that you guys will see in the video yeah. um, here and you know I was joking like because it got to a certain point where you didn't see any trees and the goat didn't even have like fur he's like missing patches if you look close so I right. was like it's so high you can't even grow hair up here I mean it, it's pretty crazy up there but the view it's the best it's awesome yeah. I mean you can see Colorado Springs and it's funny because when you're in like old Colorado City or Manitou you can look up and see Pikes Peak it doesn't look that high it's really not that intimidating but 
the drive up definitely is like I'm not too scared of many things, but I was definitely had two hands on the wheel um, most of the way up. So yeah. keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Take your time, you know, just relax. Um, the other cool thing that Josh and Keegan got to do, so I have a friend uh, that I went to school with, Sheldon Booker. He's an awesome guy. If you guys are ever in Manitou Springs, check out his um, Sheldon's Auto Repair. He knows what he's doing, has been in uh, the mechanics business for, I don't know, 20, 20 plus years. years. Yeah, he's yeah. been, he's, he's awesome. So Amazing if you guys, mechanic. Yep, but he also has his pilot's license, and for fun, he flies planes, and he offered to take us up. Yeah. And Josh um, is sharing some of his experience with you guys on the video here. Yeah, so you'll see, you know, like, here it is where, you know, the takeoff and like the uh, the takeoff procedures and us taking off and this, but it's, it was awesome and it definitely um, made me want to get my pilot's license, so I think that's something in the future I want to do now. I mean, scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not totally sold on it, but you know, I do like to live a life of adventure and I like to support my dude, so yeah. you know, it is what it is, but definitely if you guys can check out like, um, I don't know, glider, helicopter, airplane, whatever rides there, yeah. um, definitely, you know, go do it, spend the money on it because it's definitely, it's, it's worth yeah. it. Or even if you're not going to, you don't want to do like a tour and you still want to fly, uh, Sheldon told me just go do a discovery flight. And usually that's like under two hundred dollars, and it's basically a, a licensed pilot's going to take you up and see if you want to learn how to fly for yourself. But you could just use it to take pictures and stuff. You don't have to have any interest in that. But yeah. Um, so another thing we are going to hear us talk about numerous times is mountain biking. It's something we all enjoy as a family, yeah. and uh, the mountain biking was hands down like. The, the best. best that we have had so right. far. Yeah. <laughs> um, now that might change the further we go into Colorado, but the mountain biking was awesome. So we did a lot of our mountain biking on the Air Force Base. Josh and I both had favorite trails. Uh, definitely. So if you have access to the Air Force Academy, go to Falcon Trail. Uh, I think it's like 14 miles long. Hands down, my favorite trail ever. Um, it's just 14 miles of single track, but it is beautiful. It takes you up by the Academy all around the base and some of the some of the trail is aggressive you know so there's some definitely some good downhill if you want to burn a day's worth of calories oh, like yeah. 1900 calories i think he burned yeah the first time was 1900 <laughs> and then after like the fifth time i rode i got down to 1400 I must so have if you guys want to eat like all the pizza and the <laughs> yeah. foods that we're going to tell you about next and you don't want to feel bad about it, definitely Do go that. on this trail. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. My favorite trail is Santa Fe. The cool thing about Santa Fe Trail is it's good for all levels. It is a little bit challenging, so you're still going to burn those, you know, five to 700 calories right. depending on how far you go. The cool thing is, though, you don't have to have access to base. Right. It does go through the base. You cannot go six feet off. If you do, you will get shot. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really know. You might Probably be nothing. shot, but they don't want you to go six feet off the trail, but it does go through. And let me tell you guys, um, if you are on the southern southern tip, I forget what the trail is called. It turns into a different trail. Super pretty. It, there's like canyons and um, cows and really cool yeah. scenery that It'll way. It'll take you so, into Colorado Springs. Yeah, and it takes you into the city. And it forks off so you can actually go yeah. into the city. I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, Do that, that, was, that was my favorite. Yeah. And we did some hiking too there. Um, the trails are just really great on base. So if you have access to that, definitely go. The one thing that we didn't enjoy that we were really upset about. was Paradise Cove. And I think a lot of people told us to go there. Um, so we went, um, I think we went on the wrong time though. It was yeah, the weekend. It was a weekend. It was very busy. It was it, like spring break. Right. And, and you know, it was kind of like a party cove is yeah. what I would call it. And the cliffs <laughs> yeah. were, it was deceiving online. Cause we were like, Oh yeah, Keegan, you can, he likes the cliff jump and we're yeah. like, yeah, let's do it. And then we got there and there's a bunch of 20 year olds, 21 year olds that probably would have pushed him if he was scared and it's pretty high up and they're not, yeah. they're not edgy. Um, pointy cliffs it's yeah. very smooth so i was right. like nah dude my yeah. 11 year old's not gonna get up there no no uh -huh. um and i felt bad about it. it it was a cool day it was just we went with some friends of ours and took family and yeah it just it wasn't really for us and we've seen some more beautiful things than that yeah. um so we were kind of disappointed i think if we went during the week maybe we would have felt maybe. different right you do pay yeah, I think it's so. Make sure you bring cash. It's I think it's yeah. six dollars to park there, and so there. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the parking lot. Um, 
trying to collect money so they could park and not get towed. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, definitely go during a weekday for that. I mean, it's a that short hike. Better. It was like yeah. what? 0.5 miles, yeah, half, that, a mile yeah, half a mile or something. So it's an easy hike there. Yeah. If you want something in your board, definitely go because you might like it better. We, like I said, during the week might, might be a better time. I, it's just for oldies like us. We were like not going there to, you know, party, party with, right. you know, yeah. our friends. I so. actually, I think I, we enjoyed the drive there even better than the Paris drive Coast. was awesome it's beautiful. yeah through divide yeah. actually my buddy sheldon lives in divide and right. what was that other little town there was like oh, a pickle yeah. shop yeah i can't remember i really wanted to go to the pickle shop yeah but we were running <laughs> late to go eat yeah um but now for rainy days yeah so rainy days um we checked out overdrive which is electric go-kart racing awesome probably the fastest um indoor go-karts i've ever been on um, I think they go up to 40 miles an hour, and the ones on the top level go up, I think it's up to 45 or 50, um, but Keegan and I both went amazing. So and if you're competitive, day, they, they even oh, yeah. had a little like printout at the end to show who was first, yeah. second, third. Right, yeah, so yeah, they, they it is very competitive. Uh, we went during the week, and there was still enough for like a six-man race, and it was... Everyone was very competitive while we're racing, and you'll see that in the footage here, you know? <laughs> yeah, and another fun thing, too, we didn't get to do because of COVID. Um, it was just a reopening, but the Olympic Museum, our friends that live there say that it is amazing. So if you guys want to check that out during a rainy day, that's something else that you can do that we heard it's really, right. really cool thing to see. Like, yeah. they have all the torches from all the Olympics. and Right, yeah, next time around, we're definitely going to go yeah. there. So. Yeah, so... The moment you've been waiting for. Will yeah. we be living in Colorado Springs? No. No. <laughs> so I, I think our main reasons are, so we lived um, just south of D.C. in Alexandria um, for four years before I retired from the Coast Guard. And we were just so fed up with traffic that even, I know that Colorado Springs is not like a lot of traffic. It's not like L.A. or Chicago or D.C., but we're just done with it. It ruins right now. my vibe. Yeah, like if I have to get on 25 <laughs> and I'm stuck there for a few minutes, I'm already like. And I'm, I'm done. sure we could have found our way around, but even finding your way around, it was still a little more traffic than I wanted, a little yeah. more um, people than I, a little more touristy than I really want a place yeah. to be when I live there. Same. Um, yeah. We did find some, so two of our favorite places. Josh liked Manitou Springs. Uh, yeah, and um, Old Colorado City. Which I think we both liked. Even, probably our favorite place there was Old Colorado City. We spent... I don't know. I really like both there. of the areas. Really? Um, Josh really likes... So they have a lot of drive through Mexican. Yeah. And Josh really likes the place. Yeah, so honorable mention, Alfonso's. Yeah, it's, it's legit. And, I think it's on your way to Manitou yep. Springs. Check it out. It's drive through awesome. and it's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah don't Mexican go to Taco food. Bell. Go to no, a, yeah, Taco yeah. Bell's like two blocks away. Don't do that. Yeah. And guys... I have celiacs and I have to eat gluten free, and we went to 420 Pizza in Old Colorado City. Awesome. Both of us. So yes. I've never had such good gluten free pizza ever. And you guys should read the story about it. It's really cool. Um, I know. You know. I would love to tell you right now, but I don't. You know. I don't want to extend the video any more than we have to. But right. it. It's a good story behind it. I liked about the area. I did like the convenience. So. With convenience comes traffic. That's the problem. I like the convenience of having a Target and um, a lot of organic foods and the way that we eat. Right. It was very accessible. Right. It, even on the East Coast, there's nothing like Colorado. I mean, everyone just, it's just the way it is here. I, you I know felt what? at home, like when I was shopping yeah, and I yeah. felt like I was around my people. Just, the vibes are good. Yeah, and, the people are great. Everyone's yeah. super friendly. Like, honestly, like, that is one reason I would live there, live there is just because the people are so friendly. Like, it's not like a major city where, you know, like, people just aren't getting along and everyone's just kind of in their own world and no one else exists, but... I yeah, I think it was. it's a great place and um, it's a good place to visit. It's just not... Neither of us had that vibe that we wanted it to be our yeah. forever home and we right. can't really pinpoint... Um, right. Yeah, I don't think it was any one it, thing. Because it's a great place. It's just yeah. I can't... It wasn't home to me. You no. know, you feel that feeling when you know. And I was ready to leave and explore more areas. I think whenever we get to the place where we want to call our forever home, I won't want to leave. So, right. yeah. But it's a great place. Yeah. I have nothing bad to say. 
I want to let you guys know, though, real quick, if you don't know, Colorado is dry. It's a desert, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So your skin's going to be dry. You have to stay hydrated. Your hair's going to be dry. Like it's... Drink a lot of water. Yeah, which is nice. Which you should be because doing. <laughs> it's, it's nice because yeah. you stay hydrated. And it's also nice because on the East Coast, you're, you're coming from like this humid rainforest in the middle of summer <laughs> with like huge mosquitoes the size and of flies birds. Everywhere. And flies right. everywhere <laughs> to okay. Colorado, which may be drier, but... Yeah, you're not dealing... You're not, you can eat outside without... Right. In the evening, it's Feeling like a cow down. with... Right. swarming yeah. around your face Yeah, at stuff. night it still gets down to like 50s and 60s and then, then yeah. you know, in the summer the of the day is like mid 80s, sometimes 90, but it always cools down at night, you know, so yeah. we love that. Like We're really ex happy and excited to explore uh, where we're going next. Um, where we're going next is kind of out in the country a little bit yeah. in Col Colorado, kind of up in the mountains. We're going to be near Estes Park, Steamboat Springs, Granby. We're really excited to talk to you guys about that and the things that we loved about those areas. So stay tuned for that. Yes. And next we're going to head to Idaho, Wyoming, and then Moab. So we're going to tell you guys our favorites um, there and maybe that'll be the place that we end up wanting our forever home. So stay tuned, subscribe to us. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys are awesome. We yeah. love you. And we hope you guys have a fantastic week.